the wonderful thing today. My Lord, ladies and gentlemen, Honourable Mayor and Honourable <laughs> Mayoress, on this memorial occasion, World Autism Awareness Day, I greet you and welcome you to the new River Park Heritage Centre on behalf of the host, the project partners, the Land Trust, Big Heritage and the Autism Together. You are also welcomed by the devoted enthusiastic staff, volunteers and friends of the park. This area has been developed from a most polluted area to an amazing park with wonderful views of the Mersey. It brings to mind the phrase, where there was muck, there was money. The phrase describing the park could be, where there was muck, there is now magic. We give many thanks to the help of Mother Nature with her friends, the birds, animals and insects. The once barren, man-made hill has been transformed into this exciting environment. The park will be enjoyed by the many visitors who will witness the continued natural and assisted development into the distant future. River Park is also suitable for the disabled who are dependent on scooters and mobility aids. I have personally navigated the entire path system on my trusty steed. <laughs> for those that find the climb to the top of the hill too daunting, there's a level path from the car park to the lake via the Heritage Centre with excellent views of the river. There is a song sung by the American artist Jim Reeves that is appropriate for the invitation the park extends to the public. Welcome to my world, won't you come on in? Please listen to the song when you have the opportunity and I'm sure you will agree with me. I will now hand you over to the Honourable Bear who will conduct the official opening of the new visiting centre. Long live River Park, the staff and all the visitors now and in the future. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not sure I can project my voice quite as well as the town crier, but uh, I'll try. Welcome everyone. Um, just add my welcome to that. I'm Ewan Hall. I'm Chief Executive of the Land Trust. Um, it's a fantastic day, really exciting for us to get the Heritage Centre here ready for opening. Um, really been a tremendous amount of work that's gone into this. The Friends of Group, Autism Together, Building Projects that have actually carried out the hard bit of work here. Oh, 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 oh. Um, also, obviously, Biffa, who are still involved as the landowners of the former landfill, and Bigger Heritage, with whom we're working wider on the architectural and um, the archaeological side of Port Sunlight. So, thank you all for that. It's five years now since the Land Trust took on um, this site, uh, and hopefully, everyone who uses it will see the change. It's not been a sudden change, but it's just been step by step, slow change here, what we can offer. And I think that's the best way to make sure that this is going to be here forever for you. Sometimes big bangs are great, but they don't last very long. We'd rather have the slow approach that gets it right, listens to what the community wants, and tries to develop part the park in association with the community. That's really important to us at the Land Trust. I also have to say thanks to the National Lottery Heritage Fund for the funding, of course, to create this. And as part of that, all the people who happily play National Lottery every week, which, of course, then helps fund this. It's going to be a fantastic base, this. It's not only a cafe, but it's got a base for educational facilities, um, so school kids can did. use this. Um, it's autism together can use it for their service users. Really good opportunity here to bring everyone together and learn about the environment. So that's all I really want to say. I'm going to introduce now Robin Bush, who's chief executive behind me of Autism Together, who work with us on a day-to-day -day basis. Robin, Brilliant. thank you. Um, just, a, just a few quick words for me, really. Um, I think all has been said that needs to be said by the fantastic town crier. Just, uh, just a few words of thanks. Thanks, obviously, to um, to the Land Trust for their continued uh, engagement with us uh, on this on this site. Uh, those of you that use it on a regular basis will understand I the important resource. <laughs> <laughs> uh, those of you that use it on a regular basis will realise what an important resource it is for the community, and we're very proud to be part of that. 
Also a big thanks to Building Projects and to IDA Consultancy for their work in getting the, uh, getting the building actually fit uh, for purpose. And of course, I don't think she's been mentioned yet, but a big thanks to Anne, I can talk for a lot longer, but you'll be pleased to hear that I'm not going to. So, without further ado, I'll hand over to Lord Shit the Mayor. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the Mayoress and I am delighted to have been invited to join you here today on World Autism Awareness Day. As we have heard, thanks to grant funding from the National Lottery Heritage Lottery Fund, Autism Together, working with the Big Heritage, um, have, have built on the work of the Land Trust here at the former landfill site to provide this heritage centre with improved facilities, interpretation and continuing educational opportunities for schools and community groups. We are really impressed with all that we have been shown and congratulate all involved in bringing this project to fruition. We hope that the volunteers and service users of Autism Together will truly benefit from the experiences and opportunities available <coughs> at this site. So, has anybody, anybody got the ribbon? Is there a ribbon? Oh, it's there. Oh, right. So, as Mayor of Wirral, I have the honour of cutting the ribbon and declaring the River Park Heritage Centre well and truly open. Open, that's the word. Yeah.